what's going on everybody this is the K dynamite and tonight we're going to be talking about the unexpected roadmap reveal for season 5 reloaded some exciting dlc and a sneak peek at some upcoming bonus content definitely stay tuned but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also as a reminder i'll be playing with every single one of you this has to be proof of using code dynamite over at checkout on gameradvantage.com the link is of course down below in the description and it really means a lot to me but as Jerk went ahead and said earlier this afternoon perseus's broadcast is at full strength investigate the source and be rewarded with a new functional melee weapon as part of the upcoming Season 5 Reloaded event, plus new modes, bundles, and more through the end of the season. So I know things have been a little hectic over the past few weeks, balancing marketing with Black Ops Cold War, Call of Duty Vanguard, we had the multiplayer reveal for Vanguard this Tuesday, then the early access beta for PlayStation next Friday. So I appreciate all you guys out there who have stuck around the crazy coverage for multiple Call of Duties at once here on the channel. It means the world to me. But they also released the official Striker Tracer Pack bundle earlier this afternoon for 2,000 COD points. Comes with the Striker NATO skin, Red Tracer Rounds for the QBZ and the Gallo, the Detonator Charm, Fringe Reticle, the Road Rash Finishing Move featuring an RCXD, which yes, does follow you around in the lobby for multiplayer zombies in Warzone. We have the 50 cal flip gesture, the Fire Away Emblem, and the Battle Focus Calling Card. Not too bad for just 2,000 COD points, right? Definitely a steal there. And we also got a new update in Black Ops Cold War. They went live over for multiplayer. We have the new Gunfight Tournament featuring a new reward, which is a Purple West Bank Record Blueprint for the Gallo. And and looks pretty cool. Definitely a much cleaner skin than some of the previous blueprints we got for other gunfight tournaments. There are only three more gunfight tournaments left after this one, so enjoy them while you can. And as I put on Twitter earlier today, real Black Ops multiplayer fans, go ahead and beat every single gunfight tournament for Black Ops Cold War. You guys know I'm kidding, but maybe I'm not. And we also have the Season 5 Mosh Pit, the Throwback Mosh Pit, Weapon Tuning for the Tech 9 EM2 and PPSH, an extended four-day double XP weekend, because it's, of course, Labor Day weekend. I would have the free access week for the next couple of days featuring a variety of content for multiplayer and even zombies take advantage of that if you guys don't own a full copy of this beautiful game just yet we then got the official roadmap for reloaded which i would have assumed would have dropped this upcoming monday we do know the update is next week we did know that thanks to lots of previous teasers we got from raven and treyarch but we ended up getting a roadmap on a thursday which i think is a first for reloaded updates at least for cold wars life cycle let me know if you guys can think of anything else down below in the comments i don't think we've ever gotten a roadmap on a thursday before but as you guys can see here keep your head September the 9th, we have Hudson full front and center there as he will be the highlight of this midseason update. We have the new map, we have Zoo, we have Demolition for multiplayer, new Warzone content, a little bit of in-season content there as well, which will probably end up dropping over the course of the entirety of the next month. We then have the numbers event there at the bottom, a free melee weapon. We then have some surprise zombies content there with the new Outbreak region, some more world events, a new LTM for Outbreak itself. And then, of course, there towards the bottom, we have the Judge Dread crossover coming in Season 5 Reloaded, which nobody could have expected. And then some other bonus bundles and prestige shop content there at the bottom. So, a fairly beautiful roadmap. And that seemingly confirms that the rumors about Mason are for Season 6. They're not going to drop him just yet. We may end up popping up in the Season 5 outro cinematic cutscene, which will probably end up dropping with the numbers event in the next few weeks, but will probably be the focus of the Season 6 Battle Pass, if I had to take a guess. Now, Treyarch did confirm the Season 5 Reloaded does go live next Thursday, as a Reloaded update usually would, but after the Vanguard multiplayer reveal on Tuesday, which is the 7th, we will end up getting the preload for this update, at least on PlayStation, with other platforms to follow. For Black Ops Cold War specifically, that'll be September the 7th at 9pm Pacific, then a day later, which is going to be Wednesday night, September the 8th, at 9pm Pacific is when the update should go live for Warzone on all platforms as well, and and then maybe about an hour before midnight on Wednesday, we'll end up getting the entirety of Season 5 Reloaded, but at the latest for some of the regions out there, September the 9th, very early in the morning. We also have some Instagram teasers. The Treyarch did post, which I'm sure you guys out there may have missed. Who even still uses Instagram anymore, right? I haven't used it too much in the past couple of years, but let me know how you guys use it down below in the comments. We have a nice look at some upcoming content there. First off, Warzone Mode Clash. We get a couple of clips there of gameplay. The Numbers event, right? Talking about completing challenges. We have the Numbers broadcast stations already in for Dance 84. We then got Demolition. We have Armada, a new region over an Outbreak, which is going to be a little bit different from other regions we already have in game looking forward to that and then we have a nice look here at judge dread as a skin right next to hudson for this midseason update so it's unclear if judge dread is a skin for the already existing rambo operator which sylvester stallone uh coincidentally plays both of those characters or is this a skin for beck or another operator that may resemble judge dread somehow i'm not sure how that's gonna work or if it'll be a new operator entirely that we'll end up getting and for all we know it could even be a skin for strikers since they have similar appearances and looks as you 
you guys can see. And yeah, Instagram definitely has a different look at some upcoming content. I've seen this happen over the past couple of seasons, and people seem to miss this, right? Everybody usually checks at YouTube, Twitter, or some other sources on the Call of Duty blog, but not Instagram, but just thought I'd point that out real quickly. And as they also went ahead and said, first seen in the original Black Ops Escalation DLC pack in 2011, over a decade ago, we have the map Zoo, which is now being brought back and reimagined for Black Ops Cold War. It's a medium-sized map specifically designed for 6v6, and it's going to be trimming the playable space down to its main animal exhibit and park area for multiplayer. So I think it'll be the exact same map from Black Ops 1, just reimagined with, of course, better graphics, better assets. But I think the reason why they put that sentence in there about trimming the playable space is because people might think this is the actual zoo region from Outbreak, but it's not. Now, I think what they're going to do, which makes the most sense, obviously, is take assets already in the zoo region for Outbreak and just reuse those assets to recreate the original zoo that we had from Black Ops 1 multiplayer. So it may resemble Outbreak, but it won't be the same playable space at all. They also said after a hiatus since Season 3 of Modern Warfare in 2020, Demolition is back for Black Ops Cold War, one of my favorite modes of all time for Black Ops 1. I played it a hell of a lot over 10 years ago, so I'm glad to see its return. First introduced in Modern Warfare 2 2009, this game mode is akin to the respawn-enabled, amped-up search and destroy. In Demolition, one team of attackers attempts to destroy a pair of bomb sites while defenders must prevent the detonations themselves. So I'm sure you guys already know what Demolition is like. If you are Arcade OG. But we then have the Hudson Operator dropping probably at some point in the next week and a half, maybe a bit after that. We already saw him quite a bit in the campaign for Cold War, as well as at the very end of the season two intro, I'm sorry, season two outro cinematic cutscene, tongue twister there. So his appearance as an operator was inevitable for this game's multiplayer, Warzone and Zombies. And I'll just say, get Hudson as a part of an upcoming store bundle, along with three legendary weapon blueprints and more to be released following the launch of season five reloaded. So content on the roadmap that says in season just means that it'll release no later than the end of season five so i think the season ends october the 6th so any point before that's when we should end up seeing hudson and he's the right operator to release before mason i think this black ops one number centric season would have been a good fit for mason to finally release but i think what it's doing it's paving the way for mason to kind of wrap up this game's life cycle with the bang over in season six in just over a month from now so they also said later in the season the limited time tracer pack judge dread will become available to purchase in the store and the bundle includes two legendary operator skins for beck judge dread and comic strip a black and white cell shaded variant of the lawful bringer of justice so that answers my question it is going to be a skin for beck and not a standalone operator skin or replacement for rambo so i guess they won't end up using any movie lines from either stallone's version or carl urban's version of judge dread in addition to these two skins the bundle includes three up in blueprints the quick judgment smg the arbitrator rifle assault rifle and the lawgiver pistol based on a standard issue weapon given to all judges note no palm print needed to operate and also has the incinerary finish move book of law weapon charm judges watch wrist accessory and an animated calling card as well as an emblem got a look at him yesterday so we ended up seeing a bit of a glimpse of his outfits in a call of duty tweet which kind of threw us off by surprise it could be speculated that they were planning a 90s action heroes type event i know judge dread is from the 70s so to speak in terms of a comic book but his first movie was of course in the 90s and cold war or the real cold war ended in 91 so they could have made something like that work but i think they already kind of uh, exceeded what they were going to do with celebrity appearances in 80s action heroes back during season three now in terms of the numbers event which a lot of us out there were wondering about as they said it's an upcoming limited time reward stream for operators brave enough to investigate these trucks placed by perseus this limited time event will begin on september the 21st at 10 a.m pacific although operators have recently reported odd noises and sights when near them there are two incentives for anyone willing to interact with these mobile broadcast stations as this announcement was drafted hq has received the preceding image i'll put that on screen so you can see it's pretty mysterious perhaps raven software will help make sense of this in their upcoming patch notes so they already kind of teased something not too long ago right they teased there was an event going on september the 2nd through the 8th maybe it's related to this event somehow but the actual event itself is until the end of the month which to me makes sense since they want to keep vanguard in the spotlight with the beta coming up and other marketing they're going to end up having planned for that so i get what they're going for here so this is not the only intel we received here's what another source who's deeply embedded with nato sent us as the numbers event goes online, Intel suggests that Redacted are under Verdansk and that Redacted has gone AWOL. Their position is reportedly related to coordinates for these Redacted. This has led NATO to send in Special Agent Redacted to stop this unauthorized operation as it could jeopardize the agency in discovering and stopping Redacted. So Special Agent Mason, or are they talking about Hudson here? We're not too sure, but it's probably Hudson unless they're going to have a surprise appearance of Mason towards the end of the Season 5 outro cinematic cutscene. I said it right this time. Those who complete all nine challenges within Warzone or Black Ops Cold War, again, or 
during this event we'll receive a full a full a new functional melee weapon the Psy. so Raphael vibes from TMNT this dual wield melee weapon so yes it's dual wield TMNT often used in stealthy martial arts is the first ever functional weapon to be awarded via a limited time event hundreds of years ago it was introduced to the island of Okinawa and eventually became adopted by the local police to aid in arresting criminals for an outlaw like Kitsune who grew up nearly 1200 kilometers away in Kobe uh, wielding one is an irony she relishes. Its lightweight design allows for improved agility and fast attacks, which is great for taking out zombies or the competition in multiplayer and even war zones. So, we're really looking forward to this. Like I said before, this is the first mid-season event where there are no other DLC weapons left to release, but they had a surprise one up their sleeves just for this numbers event, which is exciting. Now, when it comes to zombies, we have quite a few updates that people out there definitely did not rumor, expect, or even predict whatsoever. And we first up have Armada coming as a region over into Outbreak. So, it seems like Treyarch has done with the Euro Mountains for now when it comes to fire team and even zombies but they're looking at combined arms maps to add them into the outbreak mix which i'm totally fine with we also have a new world event dealing with the mysterious black chest separate from the regular loot boxes and the golden chest world events details are unknown about this new chest though we're gonna have a rampage inducer that's being added to round base maps so the machina firebase and modern totem operators heading back into round base experiences to complete those season 5 challenges we'll also find a new feature to ramp up into the action from the very start the rampage inducer Appearing as an orange essence canister in the starting area, the Rampage Inducer will temporarily ramp up the difficulty to crank level proportions if all members of a squad agree to take on the challenge once activated. This canister will speed up zombie spawns and will cause all zombies to sprint endlessly until round 20, tuning up the action until the second major round milestone is reached or a total squad wipe long before then. So this is going to be a bit of a different feature for round based maps that may change your gameplay up quite a bit if you guys are a little bored of round based or want to spice things things up with a bigger difficulty without playing the crate LTM then there you go something permanent being added into the three current round base maps that we have and will eventually be added into DLC 4 the final round base map which was confirmed earlier this afternoon to be the final experience of the colder zombie season but what would you guys rather have right an additional round base map on top of DLC 4 to take our total map count to five maybe even six or would you rather have them have one less round base map in this game you know crank up outbreak as best as possible and then come back just a couple of months later with Call of Duty vanguard and lead that zombies for an additional year i'm happy with what is going on right now over at Treyarch in terms of zombies we then have a new outbreak ltm which is being called outbreak survival and it's a bit of a spin on words here people out there aren't really reacting to this that well over online they might change the name of the ltm for all we know but as of right now it makes sense at least to me as they said while the black chest and rampage inducer are both set to test requiem's most elite operators the most hardcore zombie slayers looking for a serious challenge can test their abilities in outbreak survival when the numbers event launches on september the 21st this limited time outbreak mode amps up the survival horror aspect of the zombies experience fundamentally changing outbreak to make it a truly punishing yet rewarding challenge operators will only bring in the field upgrade from the starting loadouts with the primary weapon being replaced with a single 1911 handgun uh, once boots hit the ground in a random region, more modifiers become clear, the minimap and overhead map are disabled, music is turned off, and the HUD displays little intel. So, were people complaining about this a couple of months ago, saying that they don't like the loadout system, even though you can spawn with 1911 anyway, you can play how you want? This is some outbreak bare bones gameplay here, right? Going back to the fundamentals of scary zombies over from Treyarch. They also said, whenever an operator takes damage, there is no auto regeneration to save them. Instead, they must find a brand new item, food, to heal. These food items have four rarity levels, uncommon, which heals 50 HP, rare, which could be a chocolate chip cookie, heals to 100 HP, epic, a chicken soup, heals to 150, or legendary, it could be an entire pizza, heals 200 HP and heals 1 HP per second for 60 seconds. So... This really makes it feel like a very survival-centric LTM. I mean, it's in the name, right? That's why it's called Survival. Almost like a Days Gone, Day Z, just relying on supplies to survive in a realistic type LTM for Treyarch Zombies that they never really did before. So I'm loving that spin on things. It's essentially hardcore zombies with limited health and a different way to play entirely. So this is going to be very exciting. There is so much content still left for season five. And again, some of this content we just went over is a surprise to all of us who didn't expect this at all. Other than these modifiers, the mission remains the same. Survive the outbreak zone, complete the main objective, and either exfiltrate before the horde rips you limb from limb or warp to another region to continue the fight. So I cannot wait to see this. I mean, <laughs> I'm almost speechless here. I cannot wait to see how that plays out for the community. And it'll probably stay permanently in the game if it is successful. I'm sure it will be. Now, 
We then have Onslaught for PlayStation exclusive Cold War owners. We're getting drive-in support for Onslaught, which I'm very happy about. There are still a couple of maps left that haven't been added to Onslaught, whether it's regular mode itself or to Onslaught Containment, because there are a few gunfight maps that I'd love to see Onslaught on in the future. We also have new limited time mode, Diminishing Lights, a hectic twist on the traditional formula where the circle shrinks over time. If the orb collapses on itself, it will implode and destroy you and your duo partner. Shoot it to slow it down, uh, or shoot it to slow down the shrink rate, or collect clock power-ups to pause the collapse hopefully that makes sense completing surges will revert the orb to its original size and these are key to earning a brand new weapon blueprint those who conquer 30 surges in this new limited time mode will earn the soviet red legendary assault rifle blueprint shown above which is based on the reliable ak-47 rifle and features plenty of high level attachments so these keep getting better and i'm sure playstation will end up dropping their own trailer for this update in the next week and a half as they usually do they didn't do it for season four but they did it for seasons one through three one through three i can't talk today <laughs> And we then have an update coming to Warzone, Clash 50v50. So essentially Warzone Rumble recreated a bit for Verdansk 84 for those out there that care about those modes. I was never a big fan of big battle royale experiences like that where it's 50v50. We had it in Blackout, we had it in Warzone. Maybe I'll give this one a try and like it a lot better than I did before. Another surprise mode coming to Warzone is called Iron Trials 84. Only the strongest survive in the toughest battle royale modes ever come to Verdansk. Flex your mystery over the entire arsenal of weapons. Prove you can handle any firefight with any type of armament. Armament, I can't talk. Flex your mastery over the entire arsenal of weapons. Prove you can handle any firefight with any type of armament and earn an exclusive calling card to prove your metal. The rules have changed. Here's how the mode works. We have changes to health, loadouts, to gulag. You get an exclusive calling card for taking part in this. All details about this are on screen. Also linked down below in the description. It's quite a bit to read, but for those out there that do care about Warzone, you might want to give this one a shot. So lots of content still coming with the remainder of the mid-season update. They still haven't opened up the mines for Redance 84 as previously promised back during, what, season three? So maybe that'll be a hurrah for Verdansk 84 in Season 6 or Season 6 Reloaded to just say their goodbyes to that iteration of Verdansk since it'll be replaced entirely by the brand new Warzone map coming with the Vanguard integration. I speculated earlier this afternoon that maybe the mines will turn into the Vorkuta mines in the Black Ops 1 campaign. That would fit very well with this Black Ops-centric Verdansk revamp. Let me know how you feel about that down below in the comments. And last but definitely not least, new bundles coming in the mid-season update. So as I always say... I would say more than often, we end up getting the best bundles for a season towards the mid-season update, not towards the beginning. It could be either or sometimes, but for the most part, we've seen a lot of really spicy bundles drop towards the end of every season. We first up have the Ghost Ship Mastercraft, featuring quite a bit of spicy content there, as you can see on screen. And I'm sure Cut Tracker will go ahead and post all the up-to-date bundles and organized cosmetic items over on their website in the next couple of days. Stay tuned for that. I'll have a separate video also breaking that down. We then have the October Fest Tracer, which for the first time will come with a bit of a mini battle pass in the pack, being able to earn COD points back for doing specific challenges tied to the DLC bundle itself, which is a feature you guys might remember from Black Ops 4. There were little features like that whenever you bought bundles in that game where it would essentially create little mini battle pass grinds where you could buy the pack, you know, get instant access to a certain item, but then while going up tiers with that pack, you'd get additional items on top of that. So this to me is also a solution people out there like myself who have said that the only flaw with the current bundle system is the lack of being able to earn free COD points to get bundles for free. There is no way to actually do that. All you can do for free is, I guess, pay 1100 COD points once and then buy every future battle pass for free if you save those cod points but what about bundles that cost 20 bucks what about all the crazy bundles that drop nearly every week i mean there's no way to grind those for free so this could be the way they do that where maybe if you buy one expensive bundle and it gives you back let's say 1100 cod points keep stacking like that you know earning free cod points back and then you'll be able to slowly but surely earn some other bundles for free at some point in the future now lastly we have the chemical reaction ultra skin pro pack for stitch getting a lot of bane vibes from batman as you can see here and this will cost 20 dollars but like i said it's a pro pack which means you get free cod points with the pack itself because you are spending actual money on the bundle not cod points whenever that happens it'll reimburse you with the equivalent of that money you spent but in cod points so you're essentially getting two for the price of one spending 20 bucks but then getting 40 dollars in value in return hopefully that makes sense so again as a reminder you pay 20 american dollars or whatever your currency is get the bundle get 
gives you 2,000 COD points, or I'm sorry, 2,400 COD points back, and you can then use that on another bundle alongside that. So it's actually a way to get free COD points over in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Hopefully that clears things up, but that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all this information regarding Season 5 Reloaded? Did you expect the roadmap today? And also, what are your thoughts on the surprises that they came out with over in this blog post? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everyone.